our district's future plans from a student services point of view is to use the instructional technologies that we have access to through Blended Schools, Blackboard, um, to expand our services to students in the area of homebound instruction, um, to better utilize our own teachers to provide that instruction through Blackboard. Um, we have plans to expand our credit recovery program for our students who are struggling here in our traditional classrooms, um, to try to put into place a more full-blown credit recovery program using our own classroom teachers. If I have a student doing an experiment here, I want him to be able to take that data through blended schools and, and the synchronous and asynchronous learning environments, put it on there and allow students to go and compare information that they got. I miss a lot of school with my gifted classes that I take. We go on academic games, we go on field trips, and I can come, I can go home, I can get on to my government class and I can get all of the notes from that day. And my teacher gives a lot of notes in government. It, it might be five pages, and if I have to go, if I have to get someone else's notes and copy those, that could be a whole period. My, that could be my entire study hall. And if I just get those notes offline, I could just print them, they're there, put them in my notebook, problem solved. The mission of CFF goes hand in hand with what you can get with the, the blended schools and the blackboard system that we have there. Uh, the idea behind the CFF is to get the technology in the classroom and throughout my training as a coach they've pressed a lot of the individual tools that are all aggregated under the, the, the umbrella of what the blackboard and blended schools gives us. Instead of just giving them this project, I can give them a choice of assessments to do. So I can say, hey, you can do a PowerPoint, you can do a digital collage, you can do a paper. I can use any of those three realms. So what happens is then it gives me a better opportunity to, to grade and assess what they're doing. You know, in the past, you were forced to say, you're going to take a test, and this is it. This is your only way of being assessed. Now we can let them show different ways of learning. So in that respect, um, I think kids are making better gains because of those differentiated instructional options that we have because we can do it on a computer. I was walking through the hall right after the 12th grade English teacher introduced the discussion boards. He'd had them going for about a week, week and a half. I had one of the students who I'd had in ninth grade, but I didn't have him as a, st a student this year, come up to me in the hall to tell me how much he enjoyed the discussion boards, that he really was getting a lot out of them. And uh, I've seen that a lot. The kids enjoy them. I was showing this to one of the phys ed teachers. Uh, the phys ed teacher was using uh, the blackboards, the uh, discussion boards this week, and I was showing the classes that. And she was commenting on how the kids are, are going above and beyond what the assignment requirements are. They were required to make one response and then reply to three other people. And they were going above and doing five, six responses to other students. And she mentioned that in class. And when the students volunteered, well, this is a lot more fun this way. We're doing like Paradise Lost and Spencerian sonnets. And I might not understand something. If I go home, I can look at the discussion board and I can, I can post my questions and I'll get five responses that night. And so I don't have to wait till Monday morning to work on, start working on a paper I have. I can start working that weekend with the help of other students. If I have my classroom, I have a Blackboard assignment available. Um, they get in, they get going. You know, student motivation and technology go together so tight. I mean, those students, you know, they see that and they get in and they have no problem working in those environments. So I think it's been perceived very positively. I think the students are very motivated working with it. Um, and, and there's challenges. There are new skills that they have to learn. You know, we assume they're tech savvy, and they are. They're tech savvy with their iPods and the things, but there are certain things that they're still learning. You know, the word processing and a lot of those business skills that they're going to have later on, you know, presentation skills. You know, they're still working on a lot of that stuff, and that gives us a chance to kind of teach that. Even though I'm a science teacher, we can help them with those little things that we know are going to make a difference in the future. One of the things I'm really looking forward to going into is the idea of the podcasts. I, I, would, I would really like to use those and have the other teachers in the school using those because I think that would also, the, the kids would enjoy it, it would spark more creativity, it would give them another outlet for getting the, the knowledge across that, that the students are getting. So I'm looking forward to using that a lot. And the, other, the teachers are also extremely happy with the safe assign. They like the idea of being able to uh, use the safe assign in order to not necessarily check up on the kids, but 
to help them use that or to use that as a tool to uh, to make the kids think more critically about what they are writing and show them where their errors are and show them where their problems are. It's not necessarily a plagiarism tool as it is an evaluation tool that the kids can use themselves to see where their, their weaknesses are in their writing. The wiki tools is the one we focused on a lot. We have used that for several different ways. The first one we used um, is kind of like an online journal almost for a class and we say okay your job is in the course of this four weeks is to generate a wiki to review all the materials we've done. So each of you must have a contribution to this. It must cover these topics. And then the nice part about Blackboard is you can assess the amount of time they put in. You can assess the amount of effort they put forth. You can assess um, how many remediations they made, how many things they changed, and we can quantify that. So we say we expect in four weeks for you to participate on this wiki um, 20 minutes. You know, 20 minutes is unreasonable. We expect you to look at somebody else's materials, to review and edit somebody else's material, and also add new content yourself. And, and then as we do that, um, it starts building this picture for the kid. You know, it gives you a nice assessment piece, but then in the same respect, it also gives you the opportunity to review what you've done, extend the classroom. So now instead of it just being, um, we did this lesson for 30 minutes, I forgot it four weeks ago, now we did this lesson, I'm looking at it again two weeks ago, or two weeks in the future because of a review, and I'm having a better chance of learning it. We use SafeAssign to send in our research papers to make sure that we're not plagiarizing, and it's probably a good idea, but it's helpful because we can look back at it and be like, oh, I didn't put quotes around this, so you know, I don't want this to get marked off, I'd better go back through it. It helps with the editing process a lot, and that's what I used it for especially for my unintended plagiarism. Within the classroom, um, the biggest problem we have is, is getting that one-on-one -on -one work with each of the students. You know, every kid has different needs and, and it's not possible within a 40-minute class period to meet with each one of them. And if you have a big project due, you got, you know, two weeks to work on something. This let us open up a window of time that our students wouldn't normally have access to it. And that's what's awesome. You know, I can, I can open it up for 45 minutes in the evening or a half hour or 15 minutes and I can share my time with them. Now, it's not to say everybody takes advantage of it, but let's say 10 students do. That gives me extra one-on-one -on -one time with those kids regardless of their ability level. It could be the best students in the class or the students that need the most help, but they're benefiting from that experience. Um, by doing that then, it helps me in the end because the project and the outcome is better because I've had time to work with them, okay? So it, it's, it's that idea of extending the classroom through the synchronous, you know, learning tool. Um, and it's awesome, and, you know, and, and there's a lot of uh, vision for the future that you could really change how we do things. You know, you can sit there and, and instead of saying, you know, we got this 40 minute block with teaming in a middle school approach that we use, it's conceivable to say we have science, global awareness, and language class three periods in a row, but you could be working on any different set of assignments within that time frame within these live classrooms. We started off slowly with having the um, Blackboard Basics Initial Training in our district for a very small group of teachers that were indicating that they were interested in learning more about um, instructional technology um, tools for the classroom. Um, probably a group of about a dozen or so. Um, and that training was so valuable and so well received by our teachers. Um, the trainers were excellent on that day. Um, our teachers were engaged and were really into that um, professional development. So we expanded from there. We did another small group of teachers and the enthusiasm grew uh, to the point that the following school year we provided professional development um, for every one of our secondary teachers grades 6 through 12. In the past it always seemed like there were a certain amount of hurdles to get something out on the internet. This removes that. I mean, if I sit down in second period, I say that lab stinks because I need this on. Within a minute, in between class, I can sit down. I have it in my browser. I can add it. And I'm done. I mean, and that that is, I think, the most powerful thing about all blended schools is it's easy to use. And so, um, since it's easy, it gets used. You know, we we've had software programs in the past that were very cumbersome, took a lot of effort to get them working and people just didn't use them and when you did try to use them you got done and you were just frustrated. That's not the case here. You know you get on, I mean it's quick, it's fast and, and it works.